everybody, welcome back to Let's Talk and you are with me, Meera. Well, think about it. Are there times in your life where you face a conversation deadlock? What does that mean? That means, do you find yourself in a position where either you're asking yes or no questions or you're getting yes or no questions from someone? That means your conversation is, sorry to say, but a little boring. Well, don't worry because today we are going to learn how to avoid conversation deadlock. We're going to learn how to replace dead-end questions and ask open-ended questions. Let's take a look at the first question. Do you watch series on Netflix? Yes or no, correct? However, if you want an open-ended answer, then you must ask, which OTT platform do you watch the most? Or what do you love watching on Netflix? OTT platforms are all our Netflix, Amazon, Hotstar, YouTube, and what you love watching. Over here, then you'll get responses such as The Crown, Queen's Gambit, Schitt's Creek, etc., etc., right? You get a more open answer. Let's take a look at the next one. Do you travel? Yes or no, right? Well, that's what we're learning to avoid today. Let's ask an open question and see the difference. Which is the most interesting place you have traveled to? Which is the most interesting place? Now, you are giving people an open choice to give you a long answer. You're talking about an interesting place that they have traveled to right? China, Korea, Japan, US, New York, and then they will probably tell you their experiences as well. Here we go. Do you have, did you have a nice weekend? Well, I understand that you want to be that polite person who just inquires about the other person. However, over here, you're either asking a yes or no question. What if we ask how was your weekend? It's more general. You're giving the other person an option to give you a proper answer. What did you do? Past tense, how was your weekend? What did you do? If you ask me, I basically binge watched a lot of series on Netflix. I just relaxed, ordered food at home and did nothing basically. Okay, let's take a look at the next question. Do you have siblings? You want to talk and know about the other person's family. However, it's either yes or no. You're not getting any great information, are you? Now, how big is your family? Big. You'll get answers which are more open, like, I have a nuclear family, I have a joint family. Well, it's just the two of us and our two children. Such answers are more open and conversation friendly. Do you like Chinese food? That's too specific, correct? Yes or no? But if we ask them, what is your all-time favorite food? Then you'll get more, much better answers and then your conversation will be more interesting. Do you like Chinese? Instead, all-time favorite. All-time favorite is a really nice phrase that you can use, not just for food, but for series, for movies, for actor, actresses, and so on. Do you follow someone on social media? Well, that's what people do on social media. People do follow people to get inspired, to get motivated. And hence, this becomes a conversation deadlock. Whereas, what or who inspires you on social media gets an, you get an opportunity to talk about the pages you follow, the people you follow, and who and why do they inspire you to follow them on social media. All right then, do you like to listen to music? I know you want to know about somebody's taste in music and what do they listen to, but again, it's either yes or no. Let's avoid this and ask, who is your favorite artist? Have you been to any concert before? Favorite artists. Now, artists can be music artists or actors, actresses. 
who is your favorite artist and have you been to any concert live concerts or any experiences that they have had listening to that person live on stage you'll get a lot of good answers and your conversation will get much better here we go do you like dogs tell me one person who doesn't so again there's an end after you ask this question how about if you ask a pet lover or any person are you a cat person or a dog person isn't this much more interesting do you come here often you're asking somebody if they visit a cafe or a movie or a country right now if we ask them what brings you to this city over here brings you means you're asking them what is the purpose of it what is the purpose of their visit to this city all right guys great going next phrase that will be very helpful to continue a conversation is tell me more it suggests to talk more about that topic more information about certain things let me give you a few examples so that this helps you out even more tell me more give me more information and then add the word about to introduce the subject about your vacation to london tell me more about your previous work experience or previous work projects you're sitting with a colleague who is new to your office or you're new to that place and you want to have a professional conversation get to know each other better professionally there you go tell me more about your lockdown experiences and i'm sure people have that in abundance and everybody's story is so different from each other that makes your conversation much more interesting about the live concert you attended about the live concert you attended any music concert or any stand up comedian whom to which you went for a live as a live audience and how was your experience right and last but not the least tell me about your journey from a software guy to a social media influencer well i'm going to give you a lot of options you can talk about um a doctor a doctor to a social media influencer well here you are actually indicating that their life journey has been so different and has been poles apart and that experience is worth sharing and that's why you can ask them about this life changing experience of theirs there you go guys you learned a lot of phrases which will help you not get into your get yourself into a conversation deadlock all right guys that's all for today i hope you enjoyed it i'm going to say goodbye until next time ciao